Hello friends, in this part of the video, I will show you how to perform the insert operation, insert operation on a database table. We have already seen how to establish the connection, how to create the table, uh, how to create the database and how to create the table. Now that the table is with us, we will see as to how to insert the data into it. The SQL has a SQL statement called as insert and the syntax of SQL insert statement is like this, insert into, these are the mandatory keywords, insert into followed by the name of the table in which the new record is to be inserted, employee. There is a bracket in front of which there is a field list the fields that are present in that particular table. What are the fields in, uh, in our table? First name, last name, age, sex and income. Okay. After the bracket is over, there is a another keyword called as values. Okay. And then there is a bracket which has corresponding values to the fields. So, Mac, Mohan, 20, M, 2000. These, these values will be respectively stored in the fields first name, last name, age, sex and income. So that is the syntax of the insert operation in SQL. Now this is the query that I have to execute using the PYMySQL's execute command. So I store this is in a string variable SQL is equal to insert into and then say cursor dot execute SQL. Okay, so this is the most important operative part. In the script, in the beginning there will be that module PYMySQL, then there will be a connect function to establish the connection, then there will be a statement to establish or obtain the cursor object, then this. Okay, the, if the everything goes well, one record will be inserted, close the connection. Okay, so this is what should be done to insert the record. We shall do it by I have an example that I will show you in which this insert operation is done after running the python script. Let us go back to that MySQL server, open the table and see that one record Mac Mohan 20 M 2000 is being added. We can verify that after running the demonstration in front of you. Now the next exercise is to insert a record into the database table. Now that we have created a test DB database is already there. We have created a, a, a table called as employee, which is having a structure of fields as first name, last name, age, sex and income. So how to invoke the insert query. Now this line will you know, tell the structure of insert query in your SQL. So, what are the elements of a insert query? Insert into, these are the two mandatory keywords, the name of the table in which the record is to be inserted, these are the fields of the table. This is of course it will change according to the name of the table and the fields in it. Values is another mandatory keyword and the list of values corresponding to the fields in which the values are to be inserted. For example, in this case ABC, XYZ, 21M and 20,000 will be the values respectively stored in the fields first name, last name, age, sex and income. So, if I execute this query then this record will be created. But I want to make this program more generalized in the sense that I want the user to input these values. So these are the five input statements in the beginning. Right? F name, last name, age, sex and income. These values are stored in the variables F name, L name, A, S and I. So that input part is over, 
establish a database connection by using the connect method obtain the cursor then form an sql query now this query is formed dynamically we are not going to execute this query which which will you know insert fixed data whatever input has been given that is to be used to form a dynamic query so therefore these variables please pay a very careful attention to how the query is created this is of course a constant so therefore it is put in inverted commas or strings what is the variable part the name input the l name input a a is age because the uh, inside the table the age is going to be an integer so therefore it has to be converted into str s is sex it is also it is anyway a, a text variable or a uh, var char variable and income we have input as you know integer or numeric that has to also to be converted into str and all these variables are put into a pair of single inverted commas as you can see here so suppose the user has given abc as the input the f name will be substituted by whatever value has been given so in effect this the query will be created in this manner in effect supposing these are the inputs that are given abc xyz 21 m 20000 so this will be the query that will be created right so this query will be will have to be executed so this is the value of our sql variable in invoke the execute command of the cursor the record will be you know saved now this sql command execution of this sql command is included in a try block so that any possible exception may be because of the error in the sql statement or maybe because of the connection string or any 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 other reason might you know throw an exception so therefore in order to account for that you have to include that statement in try block if the query fails then the exception block will roll back whatever changes that might have been inadvertently made into that so you have to nullify that if it goes on successfully or smoothly then make the changes final uh, finalize the changes later on we will see the the the, the role of commit and roll back in uh, in the consistent database management so this is how the insert command is going to be insert query is going to be executed through our python program so let us run that so i have run the script it is going to force the user to input the values of the fields so i will give the same values that have been shown as an example okay so as soon as i insert the execution of the script is over so let us go back to the mysql console and see whether the record has been inserted or not so this is our test db table uh, i mean the database this is the employee table if i click on this i should be able to see the newly added record abc x was a 21 m 20000 so this demonstrates the the execution of insert query through python 